It's Reggae Media TV. Dancehall artist Mavado about to do big things in dancehall once again with upcoming collab he announced. The Gully God is set to release a song with platinum selling artist Faruko. If you are not familiar with this artist Faruko, he is a Puerto Rican singer and songwriter. His song Passion Wine went platinum featuring Sean Paul and produced by Russian. Yeah, Russian from Ed Concussion. Today Mavada posts a pic of him in studio saying, Big work last night for the fans. Look out for it. It's coming your way soon. Golly God. Golly side at Faruko official. Faruko also announced the collab on his Instagram to his 6 million followers telling them that this one will be a hit. Well this year 2016 it was a good year for Mavado. It was better than last year. So I just for Mavado top up on that in 2017. It seems like him start already. We see Mavada right now him set to release a big international collab. Yeah, music is a worldwide thing and that's how we need to start breathing thing, not only local. As what Mavada said after him released the song Beat and Teach, him say get back to the money. So right now it really look like Mavado I get back to the money. Yeah, big collab coming. And in 2017, me feel like that would be a good time for Mavado album. That would be a good time for Mavado album. Mavado fans, them really want him release an album for a while now. So, Mavado released a couple bangers in, 20, in 2016. So, I just feel him top up on that in 2017 with a album ep some big project or something because him likely to get hit songs in 2017 and that market that mavada is going over into with this collab the latin market it is a good market right now we see charlie black in song just went diamond not gold not platinum but diamond and at the latin market them bust that song internationally yeah Costa Rica and Colombia them bust the song internationally so that is a good market for dancehall right now and Mavada see the vision and him just a make use of the opportunity We done kill them already a next thing I come to talk about is Mavada new song Beat and Teach. Beat and Teach. That song is doing well for Mavada right now. It a build up the buzz in Mavada career for Mavada career. Yeah, and the song hit couple local charts already, and people are gra gravitate to the song. Beat, beat and teach. So beat and teach. This song was released as a diss song for Popcorn after Popcorn retreat from the lyrical battle with Mavado and it end up that the song turned out to be another hit for Mavado. Beat and Teach was produced by Lee Miller Production. Alkaline is also featured on the project. The song currently at number one on several local charts in Jamaica. Right now a lot of people all forget say this is a diss song for Popcorn. People just love the song overall. Them love how Mavado flow and the song Beat and Teach. Me see some of Mavado fans all a request a music video for the song. So Mavado, if you all listen to this, you can shot a music video for this song for your fans. Them the Gully fans them really want a music video for this song. Beat, beat and teach. So beat and teach.
It's Reggae Media TV. The Unruly Boss Popcorn makes UK pop chart for the third time. Popcorn feature on Should Have Been Me, the latest single from Naughty Boy. The track also features British house music singer Kyla. On my way to AMAs, listening to some good music. <laughs> Released by Virgin Records. Should Have Been Me debuted at number 97 on the UK pop chart last weekend. This is the third UK pop chart entry for Popcorn. Its previous slots were as featured at an Aluna George, number 39 with the single I'm In Control. That song hit the chart in March and Melissa Steele's Kisses for Breakfast featuring Popcorn peak at number 10 in 2014. The UK artist Kyla who feature on the song Should Have Been Me with Popcorn gain recognition earlier this year on Drake's global hit One Dance. I need a one dance. Naughty Boy is an English producer who worked with Leona Lewis, Jennifer Hudson and Teeny Temper. In 2012, he signed a three year publishing deal with Sony ATV as well as a recording contract to release one album under Virgin EMI Records. So definitely Popcorn working with some good people here. Popcorn now in music career is in a good state of not only getting hits but international hits going over into 2017. It will be easy for Popcorn to get international hits in 2017 because in 2016 Popcorn gain more international fans based on the work when put in. Popcorn collab with Drake in feature and Drake album in do more international show. We see now him, uh, him once again hit the UK pop chart and that is a good thing. Popcorn did well in the UK for 2016. Him gained the mobile award in Windy. What a the Culture Clash featuring Popcorn, Wiz Khalifa, Taylor Gang and all of them. That was a big thing for Popcorn as well. It seems like the UK market love Popcorn. It seems like in fan base I get bigger and it a grow over there. Worse, in can't get for go US due to visa issues. So Popcorn I make full use of the US mar of the UK market. The official music video for the song Should Have Been Me released two days ago on Naughty Boy official Vivo channel on YouTube. The views so far it gone over 95,000 views going for 100,000 views. A lot of people say them like popcorn verse on the song and some people, a lot of people also like um, Kyla, voice on the song, beautiful voice, she can sing, she's also a good songwriter as well. It is a profound music video, I like the quality and the concept of it. The whole team who work on this music video give you the definition of creativity, the relationship between a human being and the mysteries of inspirations.